Hello everyone, I'm Mark Daniel Patrick. Thank you so much for checking out the channel and for joining me on here. Today, we are reacting to You Can't Stop the Beat from the 2016 production of Hairspray Live. Now, just before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and you can also join me at my Patreon page. Now, all of my comments and analysis of this performance are included in this video, but if you wanna see a full unedited version of this reaction, you can find it right now at my Patreon page at the link below. You can't stop the beat. Here we go. Way, like, I absolutely love this song. This beat is just absolutely killer. I love it so much. Look, right away you can tell her breath is all over the place. I did in our last video as well. If you don't have someone who has the stamina to make it through an entire show like a traditional Broadway performer would from start to finish, let alone one single number, I mean, the breaths she takes are just all over the place in this opening here. That's one of the things I, I just hated uh, about her in this in this entire show is just she cannot breathe. She cannot get through uh, numbers properly just because she doesn't have that breath support. And it's just getting worse, that breath. Oh my God. Like she looks like she could drop at any moment, the poor girl, oh my God. Um, let's talk about Garrett playing Link on the other side. Yeah, not bad. The guy looks like a Ken doll, sure. I guess that's what you need for the role. But in terms of charisma and charm to bring to this role is just not there at all, especially if you compare it to a Zac Efron from the 2007 version, I believe it was, of this film. I mean, Zac Efron, you can't hold anyone to him. He's just one of those unique performers that just, it, he's an enigma at what he's able to do. It's incredible. Uh, so it's hard to hold a flame to him. And this one, I think they didn't even get relatively close. I mean, despite his looks, uh, it's just the voice, the movement, the charm. It's just all, it's just all a little flat for me. Now, I will say even, watch, all of a sudden now the crowd just wakes up when Ariana Grande hits the stage interesting i will say even her breath support is a little bit lacking like she's a, a much better than i think maddie does um but they get but she can plan her breaths a little bit better and she has the breath support my god to get her through this section ariana good lord belongs in musical theater i just absolutely love her but i cannot wait for her turn in wicked i hope it's as incredible as we all think it's going to be um but yeah the girl just belongs on broadway just 24 7 on the stage that's where she belongs um i'm sure she would take the the pop star money over that any day but god she's just it's such a good casting she's so so perfect my favorite part is just the extras in this especially in a number like this because the extras behind just absolutely destroy this dance because you know they've been working on it for months they've got it like the back of their hand and probably are all generally musical theater stars in their own right uh or at least musical theater uh dancers in their own right as well and absolutely destroy this choreography it's so so good if i'm watching this I'm, I'm always looking past the main stars i'm always looking at the back to see who's absolutely destroying it and to a man and woman they are all just absolutely incredible it's just one of the there's more don't worry there's more um it's just one of those numbers that just gets inside of you like watching this n show on broadway or in any i don't care if it's a high school auditorium wherever you're seeing this that's the reaction you should get everyone should be up on their feet in the audience just absolutely losing their mind over this song if you are a fan of musical theater and the choreography from Jerry Mitchell just absolutely makes you want to get out of your seat and copy everything they're doing. It's just so infectious. It's perfect. I love that he did the choreo for the Broadway show and now comes to do it for the live show as well. It was a perfect touch uh, and kind of just what this number needed. Now, I got to say that's another uh, just absolutely genius casting, putting Harvey Firestein back in the original role where he belongs. It, it's just so perfect. It, it's exactly what you want. Like, I get it. Like, he maybe can't sing as well as you'd want a Broadway star to sing. But that's just it. Who cares? That's the voice and that's the look and that's the tone I want in that role every single time. Uh, and he absolutely delivers. Casting Martin Short as his husband. Uh, I, uh, you know, I love Martin. Don't get me wrong. Great Canadian actor. I absolutely love him. But the whole time you just get the sense that Martin wants to be in that dress instead. And that's not what you want out of that role. There's a, a lot of mic problems going on and that's what I don't understand, like why for a live performance they can't mix it properly. Uh, 
clearly I'm not an audio engineer. Uh, the quality of this mic is terrible right now. I know uh, it's driving some people nuts, I'm sure. But the mixing, like you've got some high quality, world-class people here working on this. Why is the audio not mixed properly? And maybe it's hard to mic them all properly and it probably has a lot to do with the volume that those singers are singing at as well, trying to match all those levels. So maybe it's a nightmare of a job, but it's one thing I wish was just a little bit better and that's what you can get out of an actual film and post-production. They can match the levels so that everyone, uh, everyone sounds the way they should. And the last thing I'll say on casting here is it's such a thankless job for Maddie or even for Garrett for uh, to an extent to come in and play the lead roles of this musical because the biggest names are all behind you and it's so thankless to step into what is supposed to be the starring role when you have a, uh, a Jennifer Hudson, a Harvey Firestein, a, uh, a Kristen Chenoweth all on the stage with you and Ariana Grande for God's sake all on the stage and in the same thing with you uh, and yet you're supposed to be the star it's kind of it's a no-win situation you're always going to be second best even though you have the starring role it's a little bit thankless uh, but those character roles have to be filled by some big names to get some eyes on this and people actually to watch and it works it really does work yeah it's good it's really quite good. There's the, the energy of that music. It, it's hard to screw up that number, uh, and they definitely didn't. They come through really quite well. Jennifer Hudson, my God. She just steps on and, and saves anything. She can absolutely destroy any song she's a part of. All right, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. You can find the entire reaction to this performance and 200 other reaction videos that do not appear on YouTube at my Patreon page, at my Patreon page. You can find the link to join in the description below. I'm Mark Daniel Patrick, and we'll see you next time.